In this section, we're going to look at how we can calculate the delta H naught of a given reaction by using the delta H of formations of the reactants and products. It involves this equation, and in here, the sigma means the summation of, and the nu is referring to the stoichiometric coefficients of whatever we're talking about in the balanced equation. So this reaction says that the delta H naught of a reaction is equal to the summation of the delta H of formations of the products times their stoichiometric coefficients minus the summation of the delta H of formation of the reactants times their stoichiometric coefficients. In this case for the equation, the delta H of formation for elements in their reference state is zero, and this is an important thing that you need to remember. In the previous section, we had talked about the reference states of elements, and I have listed them here. It's important to be able to look at a reaction and tell if one of the species inside of the reaction is in its reference state. One of the things you can remember is if a molecule has more than one element, it is not representing a reference form. So if I give you the reaction, so uh, here we have a reaction, and I've given you the delta H of formations of the species in the reaction. So these delta H of formations are constants. You can go and look them up. We can actually calculate the delta H of this reaction just by looking up these constants and doing a calculation. So using this reaction, it is the summation of the delta H of formation of the products times their stoichiometric coefficients. Our two products are CO2 and H2O. Um, so it's going to be their delta H of formations, and then we multiply by the stoichiometric coefficient. So there's a 6 in the reaction here. That's going to be a 6 in front of the CO2, a 3 in front of the H2O. So there's going to be a 3 here. And then we subtract off the delta H of formations of the reactants times their stoichiometric coefficients. So our reactants are C6H6 and O2. So we have their delta H of formations. And then they are multiplied by their stoichiometric coefficient. So for C6H6, there's an implied 1. And then for O2, stoichiometric coefficient is uh, 15 divided by 2. So these values for the delta H of formation were given all except for the delta H of formation of O2. So in this whole reaction, the only species that represents a reference form of an element is O2 gas. And we know that that is zero. So you notice we don't tell you what the delta H of formation is because we assume that you can recognize that oxygen is in its reference form and that the delta H of formation of oxygen is equal to zero. So it's really common to think that you were not given enough information to solve these types of problems. And that's because we assume that you know what the delta H of formation of oxygen is. So the rest of the species, CO2 was given, O2 was given, C6H6 was given, and then we know the delta H of formation of O2 is zero. We plug in these values and we do the math and we are able to calculate the delta H of formation of this overall reaction. And this is just another way that we can calculate the delta H of, of a reaction when we are unable to actually run the reaction in, say, a calorimeter.